Okay, uh, to continue on with my handsome day, if you've seen my other videos from today, what is today? Uh, May 12th. Today's May 12th, 2023. So I picked up this guy in Nova Scotia, and it's not really the poems because the sonnets aren't in here. Um, it has Venus and Adonis, Lucrece, and the Passionate Pilgrim. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that before. Oh, it also has what? The Phoenix and Turtle? Whatever that is. Yeah, well, there you go. So uh, I'm just going to talk for a few minutes about uh, the first one of Venus and Adonis. Now, I tre I'm treating it as a separate topic, and I, I hummed and I hawed whether I wanted to talk about this today or not, because I read this poem uh, in this volume. It runs from, uh, let's see, page 3 to page 62, so just about 60 pages long. Um, I absolutely loved it. I I loved it for two reasons. One, the poetry is amazing. And by poetry, I mean just not just the verse, the versification, the rhythm and all that stuff. But I mean, what can you say? Shakespeare's word choice, his vocabulary and his insights, right? his observations, his insights. Um, so the reason I hesitate making this video is that I feel like I need to read it a second time to do it justice and I will. Um, so we'll call this, this one, uh, this video, we'll call it, uh, Titus, um, Venus and Adonis, uh, 1.1 1 .1 or 1 1.0. And, uh, maybe in the future I'll do a second video. Once I've read, read it a second time, we'll call it Venus and Adonis 2.0, where I'll, I'll be able to give maybe, uh, more detail about why I liked it so much. So just, so that was the first reason was the writing, the poetry, the quality of the poetry. Um, and the second was the story and the conclusion. Um, I would divide, I, would, I think I would divide the, the poem up into three chunks. The introduction basically where Venus is coming on to Adonis, which is a big, big chunk of the poem. And number two would be the incident, the, um, hunting incident i'll only call it that right now and and the third section is uh venus i say the v venus's conclusion um v what venus does at the end so oh man i don't i don't know if i can uh if if spo <laughs> spoiling the plot is important you know it for a work that was written 400 years ago um or not but um what really makes a like to